Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 26 years ago, on this very day, 6th of June 1997, the regional cooperation journey of BIMSTEC began with the signature of Bangkok Declaration. Since then, BIMSTEC has been moving forward, making progress in several fields. With its strategic location and diverse membership comprising of South and Southeast Asian countries, BIMSTEC represents a rich tapestry of culture, tradition, and aspirations, providing a great opportunity to harness the collective potential of our seven nations. BIMSEC has also grown in its stature, particularly with the adoption of the Charter last year in Colombo during the fifth BIMSEC Summit. The Charter provides BIMSEC the necessary legal personality to build more efficient work in methods, strengthen the institutional frameworks, and form meaningful partnerships within our region and beyond to achieve BIMSTEC's objectives. A BIMSTEC Bangkok Vision 2030 has been initiated, which is expected to be adopted by the leaders during the upcoming 6th Summit. This vision document will serve as a guiding document, a guiding principle with common aspirations from all the seven member countries to make BIMSTEC an open, resilient, and a prosperous nation. Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Thailand is a dynamic region. It is home to over 1.6 billion people and with a combined GDP of over 3.6 trillion US dollars. It is therefore a region with tremendous potential. The journey is not smooth as always. Today, as the world economy passes through economic and political uncertainties, our countries are facing huge challenges in coping up with these uncertainties. We are still struggling to overcome the adverse effects suffered as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which brought unprecedented disruptions in our societies and economies. Climate change and environmental issues are other challenges which require collective action. Nonetheless, I believe all crises, all challenges also create opportunities. And BIMSTEC holds much promise as a platform for cooperation. With the disruption in global supply chain due to COVID-19 pandemic, war and uncertainties, the needed opportunity to create intra-regional trade has emerged as a priority. I hope that the member states will put in place the necessary trade facilitation measures as soon as possible to boost trade within our region. Improving connectivity in all its aspects is an essential component of regional cooperation. In this context, I'm happy that the BIMSTEC Maritime Cooperation Agreement was endorsed by the 19th Ministerial Meeting which was held in March last year and enabling its signature during the upcoming 6th BIMSTEC Summit to be held sometime in November in Thailand. We are confident that the agreement will facilitate access, boost to trade and benefit the peoples of our region. On energy, the three key components required for realizing intergrid connection the BIMSTEC Energy Master Plan, BIMSTEC Policy for Transmission of Electricity, and the Policy for Trade, Exchange of Electricity and Tariff Mechanism are nearing completion. The Energy Center that will act as the Secretariat of BIMSTEC Energy Cooperation will also be formally inaugurated later this year in India. Excellencies, as BIMSTEC marks its 26th anniversary and approaches its sixth summit, BIMSTEC seeks to revisit and re-examine its working methods to better serve the people of BIMSTEC through the appointment of eminent persons group and put forth 
practical recommendations on the future directions of BIMSEC. Combined with the Bangkok Vision 2030 that the BIMSEC leaders will adopt at the next summit, I'm sure will succeed in setting BIMSEC on the course to achieving its full potential. To conclude on this important occasion, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to the government of Thailand for its current stewardship of BIMSTEC and to the government of Bangladesh, the upcoming chair of BIMSTEC, for hosting the Secretariat and facilitating its smooth functioning. I wish all the BIMSTEC member states the strength and wisdom required to work collectively and uplift the lives of the peoples of our region. Thank you, and I wish all of you a pleasant evening. Thank you.